Hi everybody, let's go ahead and get started with this journal activity for trust and vulnerability. Um, as I was thinking about this lesson, I was really thinking about, you know, what does it mean to be vulnerable and to um, trust? And who do we need to trust? Who is it important that we are trusting? And as I thought more about this, I really just felt like um, being vulnerable is, you know, putting your heart out there and trusting that you're going to be accepted um, by those that matter to you. And I think that when we are giving our heart, those that matter to us will give their hearts back to us. And so if we are vulnerable to those that are important to us, they will also be vulnerable um, with us and show us you know, their true selves. So that's kind of what this journal page is all about. Um, I have a picture of myself here that I have created. And I have, you know, I'm not smiling. I have kind of a serious face. I'm going to do a photo transfer. We're going to transfer this on to my journal. And then I also have some other hands here that I'm going to be using. And um, right now you can see like a baby's foot and some gold. But we're actually going to be putting hearts in all of our hands, representing that when we are vulnerable and share our heart, others will do the same. Um, and so there, we're also going to be building up in the background. Uh, some things I know what I'm doing and others I don't. So we're just going to kind of start playing uh, with these images. The first thing I'm going to do is start by taking some uh, matte medium. And I am going to put that on this the paper. Wherever I'm going to put an image, I'm going to put the matte medium on the paper and then also on the image. And, um, and work with that. So you'll want to get a uh, kind of a big brush and you want to work rather quickly when you do this. I have this big brush here that I think is just too large. So I also have this brush here. This brush I kind of like because it uh, will give some texture. I like these bigger brushes for that reason. Well, we might get some hair in there too, which doesn't bother me. It'll just add texture to our page. So I'm starting by putting um, a good amount of the matte medium on the paper. And then I'm also going to put it on the front of my image. So I'm working quickly. And now I'm going to put it face down wherever I want it on the page. And to be careful because I just kind of smeared that around. And then I'm going to lay a piece of paper on top of that. You want something that's not going to stick. Um, so I really should get some like a piece of parchment paper, but that's okay. For now I'm just... I'm going to um, this. Yeah, we're going to let that dry. That's ink coming out because I do have an ink printer. Laser printers are better for this, um, but I don't have that option right now. So I'm going to be putting these like that. And maybe I kind of like them the other way. But this one I can't, it'll be upside down. So let's see, maybe I do it like this. I think I'm going to do it like that. Okay, so arrange your images the way you want them and then go ahead and take your medium. That's just ink. 
I'm going to paint over my images probably, so I'm not really worried about Once you have your images on, you really should let them dry overnight. I will be uh, using a hair dryer to dry mine so that we can get back to the project. Um, but the best results will come if you let them dry overnight. All right, so when we get back, um, we're going to peel off the images. Okay, we're back now. We're going to see about uh, peeling this off. And you can just kind of um, try to lift a corner. get started. I don't normally do this on um, paper, so I'm not super excited to see what's happened here. I'm going to start with some water and uh, you don't want to rub too far in one area because it will rub your image right off but if you can get it going and then you can get that I have cardstock so it's very thick and there's a lot of um, paper layer. So I'm going to just work really gently and kind of speed through this uh, and hope that it works.
Okay, now I'm going to um, take my matte medium and just go over the top, just put a layer on top to protect it. And I don't want all those streaks, so. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, I have this great tissue paper. Uh, I think it's a Tim Holtz tissue paper. I'm gonna take this, these wings. And going to put them on me because I believe that when we become vulnerable and share our true selves, we are actually releasing ourselves and we are um, giving ourselves permission to be who we are. And I think that, um, that as hard as it is for some of us to do this, um, I just think that it is necessary in order to live freely. So I'm going to put in my wings here. And each side here. My other shoulder is about there. Trying to get them to be about even on each side. And I'm going to kind of fill the background with this tissue paper. Um, And I'm using the matte medium by Golden.
Okay, and then I want to put some paint on the page. I'm going to take a mix of clear gesso and regular gesso and just put a layer over her. Just so that I can marry everything that's going on and to um, just give it a layer of support. Okay, that's not quite clear enough. I want it to be even clearer than that. So, poured quite a bit more clear in. There we go. You can still see what's happening under there. I want to be able to see those hands. So I'm going to come in with some water, thin that out a little bit. Actually, I'm going to come in with a wipe. There we go. Um, this is all white up here. Making a mess. Need a bigger place. It has been verified over and over to me lately how much I need a bigger space. This is just not working for me anymore. All right, so I'm just going to pour a little clear gesso right on here. So clear, this gesso is just going to also secure everything that's happening, but also um, just give it a nice ground for me to put some paint on. And I've lost myself a little bit, but I'm not worried about that. <laughs> 